and welcome to the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium for week 16 of the Primera Liga and with what is without doubt the game of the week between Real Madrid, second in the table, entertaining Deportivo, third in the table. If Madrid win, they'll go back to the top and of course they're flying here after last week's 2-1 win in the Camp Nou. First time Madrid have won in Barcelona in the league for 20 years and now they want to make it count against Depor. Yeah, and it's been a really, really good run for Real Madrid as well. There's been a, there was a sense early in the season when Madrid were playing spectacularly well. A lot of people said, well, let's wait till the tough games turn up. Well, you want tough games. They went away to Osasuna where they traditionally lose. Osasuna flying high fourth at the moment. Got a 1-1 draw, a really good battle performance. Then they beat local rivals Atletico 2-0 then went to the Camp Nou as you say first victory in the Camp Nou for 20 years now they face Deportivo who are third next week Mallorca and then a Christmas break well deserved by this Real Madrid team exactly Carlos Queiroz's side have started to get a pretty familiar look to them as well um, the teams will give you the Madrid lineup is Ike Casillas in goal Mitchell Salgado Roberto Carlos the fullbacks Raul Bravo and Pavon in central defence here they come in midfield Zidane, Ivan Elguera and David Beckham with Luis Figo out on the wing and of course leading the attack it's Raul and Ronaldo yeah it's a, it's a staggeringly strong side isn't it I mean you just look at that midfield uh, Zidane, Elguera, Beckham, Figo it's just bursting with creativity and then up front you've got men like Raul and Ronaldo and of course it's a side that has started to really excite the passions of the Madrid crowd and what better way to do that than to win in the camp now what every Real Madrid fan wants to see the referee is Mr. Rodriguez Santiago and will give you the Deportivo lineup in goal it's Molina defence made up of Manuel Pablo Andrade, Naibet and Captavilla in midfield Sergio and Aldo Ducha with a line of three Scaloni, Valeron and Luque and Diego Tristan leading the attack yeah, there's one very, very interesting battle. Um, you mentioned there Aldo Dusha, the man who very, very nearly um, kept David Beckham out of the World Cup with a foul while Beckham was still a Manchester United player that broke Beckham's metatarsal bone, looked like he was going to miss out of the World Cup. Beckham will uh, probably remember that. Yeah. Aldo Dusha is uh, the, probably there he is, that man there, the number 23, is the man who probably taught what most English people what the metatarsal bone is. Yep, none of them knew what it was or where it was. It's they all know now. It's thanks a bone on Beckham. the top of your foot. Uh, Carlos Queiroz, as usual, pensive in the Madrid dugout, but he can be very happy with his uh, first four or five months' work at the Santiago Bernabeu. Yeah, I'll be delighted with the way things have gone so far. Not least because, you know, as I say, there's been some spectacularly good performances, but they've also been, and that one at Osasuna really stands out, some performances where they've really dug in, they've really worked, maybe on occasion ridden their luck a little bit, but had such ability with this guy up front, um, particularly, and also Ika Casillas at the back uh, in goal, who's been absolutely superb so far this year. Just had a glimpse in the other dugout of the Deportivo coach, Javier Irureta, a man who's in his sixth season at Deportivo. Yeah, and every every season, at the end of every season, he says, not sure if I'm going to carry on. It depends if we fulfil the obligations that I think the team needs to fulfil. Every year they do, and every year he stays. And he says, I like to do my homework, I yeah. think is the way he describes yeah. it. So, Deportivo kicking off week 16 in the Santiago Bernabeu. Madrid, as I say, second in the table with 33 points, one point behind Valencia. Deportivo three points behind Madrid, so it's a good chance for Madrid if they win, just to open up a little bit of a little bit of space over the teams below them. Yeah, it would be an important step, not least um, coming just a couple of weeks before Christmas. I think if Madrid can go into that Christmas break with a little bit of a cushion over that, would be, be very, very important psychologically for them. Pavon, Luca against him, just standing his ground, as did Michel Salgado, but conceding an early corner against Deportivo. It's a good player Albert Luque. Gives gives um he gives Deport real real thrust and, and, and pace on the left. It's interesting really because he came to the club from Yorker as a centre forward and when Javier Edueta, this man here, first put him on the left wing, he wasn't at all happy about it, but he's been absolutely brilliant since he moved That's over there. Very, very quick Luque. And there, oof, slight misunderstanding between Roberto Carlos and Iker. 
We would get away with it and there. There's the offside flag up and free kick for Real Madrid. Roberto Carlos, I guess, telling Ico, I didn't hear you there. Yeah, and Ico couldn't stop because he was already in the air, wasn't he? There was Didi Reto, who always wears his um, increasingly more and more tattered jacket. Yeah, it's always the same rain jacket, whether it's raining or not. There was the Deportivo dugout, um, Phil Milia faced the Madrid fans on the left. Uh, the winger, Pedro Bonitas, who spent a couple of years at the Bernabeu. Didn't quite happen for him. No, it didn't. Um, and it's a shame because I think he's, I think he's a good little player. He's very quick, very direct, makes things happen. Very dangerous on the penalty area. And you know, how dangerous would he be with players like Beckham and Roberto Carlos to take the free kicks? Superb. It's back up Avon. Looking to open things out. There's Zidane on the left. Just a little bit asked a bit too much of him there, Pavon. Andrade. Classy Portuguese central defender. There, Diego Tristan held off Raul Bravo but then collided with his own teammate. Luis Figo trying to find someone to pass to us in the end. Beckham makes himself available. Picks out Raul. Figo's gone forward into modern Raul. Here he is. from Michel Salgado on the overlap. Salgado gets in there, pulls it back. Ooh, that was so close to Raul. It's still not got Elguera. Very close from Ivan Elguera. That was a very, very important interception from, from Andrade. Really, really good lunch. You, you were saying that Andrade adds class to that defence. He's, he's a player I like a lot, not just for the class, but for, for the pace. He has real pace and bite to that depth defence. And I think that's particularly important because I think Depor are a very, very nice footballing team, but one that occasionally, I think, can be accused of being a little bit soft. Yes, yeah, they do have the odd player who doesn't, perhaps doesn't perform on the big occasion. Roberto Carlos. You can never accuse him of that. Oh, bravo. He does well to get it back to Pavon. Raul dropping deep, looking for Ronaldo, no offside, but just a little bit slow there, Ronaldo. Yeah, he was just a little sluggish, because actually, two very nice passes, Beckham very, very low, very hard, and crisp into Raul. Raul then did virtually the same thing to Ronaldo. As he said, I just wonder if Ronaldo maybe thought he was offside, he seems to have a quick glance. He did, didn't he? Yeah, and, then, and then, and then the, the momentum was gone, and the ball was gone as well. And Nybet and Andrade were onto him very, very quickly. That was just going to go a little bit long for Ronaldo and Manuel Pablo able to see it out for a goal kick. Yeah, it's good to see Manuel Pablo back, isn't it? After a couple of years hardly playing, after after he broke his leg in, in a Galician derby, really, really nasty break. I think he's only played 15 league games in the last two years because of the associated problems with that. Yeah, it was a Zoe broke both bones in his leg. Yeah. He was at the time an you know, number one choice to Spain. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people thought his career was over. No, it is nice to see that he's played more or less consistently this year. Maybe just lost a little bit. He's not the player he was. No, but he's, he's not. certainly. But he's he's a, he's a consistent performer, still, isn't he? Here's Raúl. This time looks up to Roberto Carlos on the left. Roberto Carlos looking to get into the box on his right foot. Just can't quite direct that on target. The Real Madrid fullback, but good vision from Raúl. And the game has already shown signs of being very, very Carlos is not comfortable. Very, very open. There's a lot of space. And Madrid's passing's been, been been nice and crisp so far. Just use his pace there, Roberto Carlos, just to cut inside. He just scuffed it, didn't he? Seems to slip, perhaps. I'm not sure. Well, he caught the top top of the ball rather than swinging, getting his foot right through the ball. He definitely caught the top of it. But you're right. I think he may well have slipped just before he took that shot. Just Figo jumping. Ball with Sergio. Salgado did well again. It's very, very tenacious. It's a big game, this, for, for Mitchell Salgado. Of course, he's from, from Vigo, just up the coast from 
from La Coruña and the two sides are of course traditional enemies. Yeah, they play, played a number of years at Celta Vigo, Michel Salgado, they're still very associated with the city and as you say, yeah, Depor fans don't much like Celta Vigo players or former Celta Vigo players. And vice versa. Is Zidane to Ronaldo. Looking for Raul and I think it was Nybet Nybet just got the foot in, wasn't it? Yep. Cap de Vila. that run forward can he pull it back Mitchell Salgado with the clearance That's lovely, Beckham. Move. lovely move nice and slick nice clean passing and there Salgado makes a clearance carries on forward as it's Madrid's turn to counter-attack there is Mitchell to Zidane David Beckham looking for one of those crosses into the area just a little bit low now it's Luque's turn to show his pace. Slightly, um, slightly surprised actually that Luque tried to play the early ball there because you've got to think that he's got the pace to get away, get to the byline, but looked, I think I think he saw Diego Tristan just peeling away, um, tried to play it early, but the thing about Luque is he's, he's so direct and he's so quick that he's better off bombing on all the way. Certainly until he reaches the penalty area. That's how he scores most of his goals, yeah. head down, Head into down. the area and yeah. a pretty powerful shot. Lionel Scaloni, hard battling Argentinian utility player for Deportivo. Yeah, he's, good player. he's the guy that mostly filled in for Mamo Pablo while he's been out. I like him a lot. It's Cap de Villa putting the ball into the box and Ike Casillas just gets down to, to save from Sergio. Dan. It's been a very bright start to the first eight and a half minutes. Yeah, from both sides. Beckham. Once again to Raul. Oh, now he's on his Raul. Run Raul. Lovely little bit of skill there from the Real Madrid captain. Just sold a quick dummy. Way at the pace to get onto the ball, but for one second I thought he was going to be in. Taking it quickly. Luis Figo now. Just overrunning it slightly. Diego Tristan. Manuel Pablo. More defending to do, but that was high and wide from Luque. Normally when Luque works himself a space, um, it's, it's well worth him shooting because he hits the ball very, very hard. As you say, he just just didn't get that right. Did well to get away from Zidane, actually. But he's just leaning back and he's just slightly off balance as he, as he strikes that. And he had to really shoot, because if he'd have taken on Salgado, it would have forced him a little bit too wide. Yeah. So Ica with the goal kick for Real Madrid. It's 10 minutes on the clock, but there's nothing on the scoreboard. It's still Real Madrid nil, Deportivo La Coruña nil. Manuel Pablo. Valeron starting from a much deeper position than, than, than normally. I mean, he's, he's coming right in to get the ball, whereas normally he plays just off Tristan. Um, that's, that's a sort of a second striker. Yeah, I wonder tonight he's a third central midfielder rather than a second striker. I wonder if that's to try and pull Ivan Elguera a little bit out of position. Quite possibly. Elguera yeah. partnering Beckham in the middle, and I'm sure Elguera has got the job of keeping keeping an eye on, on Valeron, Valeron. Yeah, keeping him under wraps, because he is the creative fulcrum of so much what Depp will do. Ball just dropping nicely for for Figo there, couldn't get the ball across, but it's gone to Mitchell Salgado. There is Beckham to chip the ball into the area. Andrade got up well, though. Depot able to play that one out. Diego Tristan. Just 
It's a bit of a puzzle, isn't he, Diego Tristan? Wonderfully, wonderfully talented player. Um, top scorer in Spain a couple of years ago. The years before that was consistently getting 17, 18, 19 goals a season. Last year, had a very poor year. Only got nine, but it wasn't just that he only got nine. It never really felt like he was... Just now and then doesn't seem to get... He's a bit of an awkward character, by all yeah. Him and Iroeta don't always see eye to eye. And he, he's put on a fair bit of weight. He was very, very close to joining Real Madrid a couple of years ago. Now it just feel like he, he's perhaps very slightly on the slide. He's still Ooh. wonderfully talented, of course. But just starting to feel like maybe drifting away a little bit from the team. It's Captavilla just... Of course, the big loss for, for Depor is, is Roy Mackay, who's gone to Bayern Munich. Figo just, top scorer. Figo just trying to force the foul off Captavilla, but the referee, Rodriguez Santiago, wants nothing to do with that one. Yeah, Figo's very, very adept at drawing the foul, isn't he? Wins a lot of free kicks around the edge of the box. Very, very important that, or, or on occasion, it's very, very important. That for when you've got players like Roberto Carlos exactly. and Beckham in your team, it's very, very important. Exactly. Two free kick maestros in there, the two presidents, Cesar Landoira, the depot president on the left, and Florentino Perez on the right. Ivan Alguera just keeps things moving. Roberto Carlos to Zidane. with a fullback. Beckham popping up in attack. Once again Roberto Carlos spreading the ball. Figo trying to battle his way in. Once again no foul says the referee. Sergio bringing the ball forward. Now it's Dusha taking the return pass from Luque. Depor are content to play, play slow and then and then look for the break and then burst into life, aren't they? They're a good side in terms of possession football. No offside against Luque, but Elguera was across ever so well to cover. Looked a little bit offside, Luque, when the pass was given, but Elguera doing very well to get back, considering how quick Luque is. Yeah, Luque is very, very quick. What Elguera does, though, so well is... Well, A, he battles, but he, he reads he reads the game very well, so he's always alert early. Ike Casillas comes out to claim on the edge of his six-yard box. Good, safe pair of hands there from Ike. Ruetta started on the gun. That will be the same piece of gum for the rest of the night as well. Oh, not a very nice thought. Beckham. Neat work there from David Beckham, picks out Zidane. And that's even better for Roberto Carlos. Andrade, a full stretch. Elguera collecting the ball. Comes to Mitchell. Slight misunderstanding, but there's Roberto Carlos making up the distance, as he does so often for this Real Madrid team. Zidane, lovely pass out to Figo, great control. Nearly, nearly, nearly that pass from Raul dropping to Figo, as it is Salgado. Figo's kept in there. Zidane, can he work a shooting chance in it in Zidane? Very nearly had one, he decided to take another step. I think it was Mamo Pablo shepherd him pretty well in the end. Quarter of an hour in the Santiago Bernabeu. Score is still Real Madrid nil, Deportivo La Coruña nil. Another attempt at a back heel from Raul, almost working out. And now Luque. Losing his balance there. If there had been a foul, it would have been earlier. I think yeah, that's like it. I mean, there, there, there probably was a little bit of a nudge, but it was before he slipped, wasn't it? Exactly. So the referee once again playing on. Roberto Carlos. Both sides trying to keep possession of the ball as much as possible. Two of oh. the best sides in Spain, but there are not many players. See, Dan! who were capable of doing something like that. Genius. <laughs> Just uh, brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. Well, we're so used to seeing Zinedine Zidane delighted oh. with his ball control, but that is staggering. 
I mean, that, that, that second little bit of skill is not just that he rolls the ball across the turf, it's that he almost drags it across the turf. It never leaves his foot. Fantastic piece of skill. Molina taking the goal kick is flicked on. Deportivo putting a couple of nice passes together now. Dusha. Well, it's rare that you'll see a match between two teams who keep the ball and use the ball so well. Both cherish possession as much as these two sides do. I mean, we haven't seen a, a, I don't think we've seen a single wild hack. We haven't seen a single ball booted out into touch. We've seen nothing desperate. We've seen both sides trying to really keep it in play. White content to keep hold of the ball, sending it all the way back to Molina. Who is forced, and for, for, unfortunately, for Depot to send it long, and there is where Madrid are able to regain possession with Paco Pavon. Salgado, Raul Bravo. There's a few options there, Bravo. Finds Roberto Carlos. And Zidane to Luis Figo. This is good from Real Madrid, that pass from Figo just, just asked me a little bit too much of Roberto Carlos, but once again, great exhibition of passing from both yeah, sides exactly. so far. When you saw you know, Depo went away, Madrid had the ball in a slightly tight situation, but rather, rather than just getting it getting it out of there long, so played, <coughs> got the ball back, and uh, as you say, just slightly over hit Figo's pass over Roberto What you Carlos. would say, is looking at that, Madrid's passing just that little bit more incisive perhaps. Yes, yes, definitely at the moment. Get a penalised there, but I'm once again, the referee could have given it either way. Dusha getting it back to Noradin Naibet. Salgado in quickly. Once again, Depo forced to send the ball back to Molina. The crowd don't like it. Andrade. Was a little bit slack. Ooh, was a handball there from Manuel Pablo? Looked like it probably was Rodriguez Santiago. I think he's judging to be deliberate, hasn't he? First booking of the game for Manuel Pablo. Smoke Valdano in the middle. Yeah, I think that's a. He's playing a bit of basketball. Good control. But I mean, he's deliberately cutting out the through ball, and the booking is totally justified. David Beckham to take the free kick. Good thinking to Zidane. Depper on to very quickly. He's done well, Zidane, to pick out Roberto Carlos. He's back with Beckham, and that's a little bit careless, but he's won the ball back. Looks up. It's a good ball in there. Raul. Fantastic oh, work from Raul. Ronaldo, Ronaldo! Fantastic piece of skill, Ronaldo. Went for the finish and has to be said, good save from Molina as well. Very good save from Molina, uncharacteristic of Ronaldo not to score from that. Lovely pass from Beckham and Raul's control of the Magnificent, absolutely brilliant. Brought it down on the chest and he thought he was going to shoot and then he could see that he didn't have a chance. And he had the, the, the presence of mind to pull back a really great pass That's from That's a great first touch from Ronaldo and he, I think he just tries to catch Molina off balance yeah. but doesn't, just doesn't put it far away from the depot keeper. It's the first thing we've seen of Ronaldo tonight, but what a warning. And it's a good save as well because the ball's pretty close to his body and it's very, very low, and those are very difficult to get down to. So, 20 minutes in the Bernabeu, it's still depot nil, Real Madrid nil. Good turn to defend now, Roberto Carlos. Pavon and Bravo and Roberto Carlos between them. Just snuffing out that threat. This one, Carlos Valeron. Played in there as the thin man. Yep. And he is thin. And he is thin. Very, very skinny. I'm going to say for obvious reasons. Well, lovely little bit of balance from Zidane. Looking for Salgado. Great vision as well. Just, just running away from Mitchell Salgado. 
And that's one of the things about Zinedine Zidane, as, as you say, I mean, it's, it's balance. And sometimes he doesn't need to do really clever things just to just to throw off his mark, but just because he's so graceful and there's something so, well, just neat about his movement. And, and that that's Ronaldo chance. chance again. He just goes to side foot it, doesn't he? It would have been a goal had he had he scored. It would have people would have thought oh, it was really simple, but it was actually quite. Special. Well, the, the best bit of it from Ronaldo's point of view, that first touch, just yeah. to draw the defender, let the ball run across the body, just enough to draw the defender out, and then ease his way into the penalty. Well, into the penalty area, into shooting position. Wow, well, but leaving the ball dead with that yes, first exactly. touch as well, exactly. It's the fluidity and, and the and the um, the cleanness, if you like, of the touch. Pressing hard there on the far side of it, but Beckham just losing out. Tristan. Oh. I think. I don't think Beckham really got too much complaint about. He, he lost out. He went went to win it back. Made one chance, which was fine. Then carried on look. through. I mean, this one's not that bad. He wins that one fine. But it's the next one, just and the next one. That's yeah, the yes. work. That final one of Valeron is two actually worthy of a card. Two little goes at him, yeah. isn't he? And there's Dusha, the free World Cup nemesis of David Beckham, Aldo Dusha. Just halfway, midway through the first half, it's still. Madrid nil, Deportivo nil, and it's been, but it's been quite entertaining. Both sides have got a, sort of a real commitment to good football. Oh, he nearly drops, and that's a great chance for Valerona. Drops for him very kindly. Should have scored. I mean, it took a couple of rebounds to get to him, but having got the ball. I mean, it's, it's Luke who hits it hard. Hit, hits Tristan, sits up for Valeron. He, he has, just he has actually, all the time in the he world. He hits it after he? it bounces. If he'd hit that on the half volley, that probably would have asked the question of Ike. Doesn't mean to say what it's got, of course. The, the, the question, of course, being can you save it? And obviously, quite often, Ike can, but, but Valeron really should have scored that. Or at least got the shot on target. Not, not least a player of his technical ability. He's not the kind of player you expect to hit the ball first time. You expect him to have the, the presence of mind to bring it down, finish neatly. Very disappointing from Valeron. I think that's sometimes what happens when you play in the Bernabeu, though, isn't it? The ball drops through, you think, chance. People snatch it. Yeah, yeah. they do tend to snatch their chances. Roberto Carlos to Ronaldo. Somebody who tends not to snatch in the ball. Raul, oh, looking for the... With a through pass to Ronaldo, you could see the understanding between the pair there. Unfortunately, the ball just cut out. Beckham. Once again, Raul dropping deep, pulling the de depot defence out of position. Gives the ball to Figo. Once again, takes on Captavilla. This time, Captavilla gets a good challenge in. Ball with Aldo Dusha. Once again, just looking to take a little bit of the pace out of the game. Nybeck. Sergio. Valeron. And Manuel Pablo. Roberto Carlos just helping Raul Bravo out there with Diego Tristan. That easy to see, is it? Yeah. There's David Beckham looking to spear forward a long ball. That's just a little bit overhit though from Beckham. We see him do that all the time. Quite often as the game progresses, you see Beckham dropping a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, looking to take advantage of any tiredness in opposing defences. Yeah. He tends to he tends to deliver better though. Um, from, from, a, from a position slightly further to the right than that, it was a little bit central. When he when he drops into almost a right back position, that's where that's where he can be really really dangerous from from distance and long long passes. Of course, he needs the runner, and the runner actually tends to be Ronaldo rather than Raul. Just a little bit quicker, Ronaldo. 
and got the more maybe got the body strength that helps him hold hold players off better. Oh goodness gracious! Offside against Luque, but my goodness, Madrid were caught a little bit there. Come out of nowhere, that move from Depo. Just giving a little warning, Depo Tigo, that their passing is also pretty incisive when they want it to be. It's Balleron in space and. Sergio bursting through it again. He's got in a very good position. Depor delivered a couple of really nice balls into the box. Yeah. Be interesting to see that own, uh, that own goal, that offside goal again. If we're just getting into Dan's way there. Now it's Madrid attacking David Beckham. He's got Figo on the right. Decides to go and use Zidane. Zinedine Zidane thinks about lining it up. Ronaldo, Ronaldo drops to Raul. Goes for the chip with the outside of his foot. Just a little bit overhit there from Raul Gonzalez, but you could see what he was trying. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say exactly that. You Let's have a look at this. Right. Yeah, ooh, ooh, I tell you what, look at Raul Bravo. I think you're right. I think Raul Bravo may well have played him on side. It's interesting, I think perhaps to some extent Raul Bravo's not even in the linesman's vision because he's yeah, so close to him that the linesman's kind of looking beyond him. I think that's the thing, the linesman's looking at the middle of the penalty exactly. area, but Bravo's. I think Bravo did play him on. A little bit lucky there, Real Madrid. Yep, slight escape. Lovely pass, lovely pass into the box, and, and, and obviously a fairly comfortable finish for Luque, although, although he didn't half bury it. Of course, I think the whistle had already gone, and it's a lot easier to bury it when, <laughs> when, when you know it doesn't count. Well, and then if you don't bury it, you just go, no, no, I knew the whistle had gone. Cool work by Mitchell Salgado. Bravo. Roberto Carlos halfway upfield. And once again, Deportivo attacking. This is Capdevilla. Another good, strong run from Luque. Equally good defending from Francisco Pavon. This is the goal again. I think you're right. I, I think, think, Raul I think it, it is possible, but it's, it's not actually not. As, it's a lot closer than that I first thought. It's, it's a tough one for the lines, but especially if he is focusing on well, the I middle of the that's, penalty that's area. Exactly where he'll be looking. Is that? Zidane to Michel Salgado. Here's Raul, goes for the back heel, trying to catch the Depor defence, and Molina by surprise, and there's Beckham. Hammering a shot against the Depor defence. Still with Real Madrid, though. Roberto Carlos, shooting range, perhaps, as it is Raul. Raul, Molina, great save and a great shot. Great save from Molina, and, and Raul really made up for the fact that he, he put a... Slightly disappointing back heel on the previous one. Hit that really well on the turn, and it's a good save from Molina. Still Madrid, though. Mitchell Salgado into the area. Oof. Fantastic shot, but the referee, I think, had already well, I mean, you've only heard blown the whistle, the whistle yeah. yeah. Even before Elguera. Poor old Ivan Elguera, who met that ever so sweetly. He met that very, very well. It's a really, really nice finish. The whistle had already gone. I'm not, I'm not sure what it's gone for. Well, to be fair, there's no foul there by anybody. No. Missed the round shot. It's a really nice clean hit. Just well, Molina, because he doesn't see it till very late. So, uh, Depor perhaps had arguments to... Had a case to complain about the Luque goal being disallowed. I think, I think Ivan Elguero has a pretty good case with that one as well. Don't really see anything wrong unless he's two players going in hard. Elguero will be particularly frustrated because he doesn't get that many goals in the season. He scores headers, he doesn't score many shots. So we're at the half hour mark and thanks to perhaps to two errors from Rodriguez Santiago, it's nil-nil as opposed to one-one between Real Madrid and Deportivo. Carlos finding space. 
Jan. Ronaldo! I bet just got foot in. When you look at Molina there, he was sort of leaning one way, stuck his arm out the other way, sort of posture that makes you think, had Ronaldo got that one on target? Once again, though, great vision from Zidane, a great run from Ronaldo. And Archer didn't get the fetch from Ronaldo, scuffed it, just couldn't quite keep it Which down. Which is why he started hitting himself <laughs> in the head. <laughs> I will do better next time. Tristan holding the ball up well. Valeron gets the return pass. Just took a little bit too long there, Tristan. Well, it's been a, uh, a strange game in some ways, and you're talking about two very, very good football teams who are playing very, very good football. There's not really been very many challenges. It's as if both sides have been both sides have been happy to say, "All right, we can play football as well as you," and each of them happy to kind of challenge each other in a purely creative, technical football well, sort of sense. Four fouls from each team, you know, we've it's had 32 any. minutes in the first half. That's, that's a very, very low number of fouls. There's plenty of time for them to And a couple of them, let's be honest, a couple of them, I mean, uh, probably... Probably not fouls. Probably not fouls. Good play from Salgado. He's found Figo on side, and there Molina collects the cross. Just intelligent ball from Mitchell Salgado. Another one of those games, isn't it, when you think, okay, why not we're just going to find that extra gear? It's all very nice, they were playing some nice football, but you just think there's that extra bite, extra bite that they probably have the depth or might not have. Here's Roberto Carlos. So again, now I bet just gets in this time. Well, I think Madrid just need to carry on the way they are and they will score. Although I sort of suspect that Depo might as well. Guerra just takes a deflection but still finds Zidane Zidane. He's, he's Once on, again, he's on, uh, he's on tonight, song, isn't he? Isn't he? Ball with Luis Figo. Space for Salgado. Once again, Beckham just dropping into that deep row where he's able to spread out the long passes. And of course, Roberto Carlos will always leave that wing open for him. Alguera showing neat skill. Sets up Roberto Carlos, and that did not miss by much. Absolutely whacked that one across the face of goal, Roberto Carlos. Yeah, nice skills from Alguera. We're not used to seeing him doing step overs on the edge of the box. I think, I think he's a little bit annoyed. In fact, that must have got a touch. He's gone out for a corner. I think Alguera's a little bit annoyed he had his goal disallowed. I think he's very annoyed he had his goal disallowed. Beckham with the corner, floated in there, Molina gets a hand on it, could have done a bit better, Roberto Carlos, Ronaldo, danger for Deportivo. Well, that's once again, lovely little pack heel actually from Elguera, and Molina gets a hand on that one, a good hand on it. Maybe Beckham to take another corner. Taking it quickly, here he is. Left footed cross. It's dropping nicely, but we're just turning the pressure on. Scramble clear. Salgado now, busy little running style of his. Got Figo, looks up Figo. Just couldn't pick out Mitchell Salgado in the penalty area. Here he is again though. Raul. <laughs> a little bit of a high foot from Raul, he's able to smile about it. Just apologies to, apologises to Nybet, who probably got just as much from his own teammate there. Very nearly got Raul's foot in his face, didn't he? There's that goal again, which I don't think should have been chalked off. It's a difficult one. But, um, but I'm equally sure that the Elgeda one shouldn't have been chalked off either. Probably been better for the... But the spectator, they've both been, both been given. I'd rather be watching a one old rather than a nil-nil. Saying that, we've seen plenty it's of nice football so far, haven't we? Nil -nil, so the so football on display from both sides deserves more than nil-nil. Dusha. 
Figo just blocking Capdevila. Eight and a half minutes towards the break, as we're saying, it's Real Madrid nil, Deportivo La Coruña nil in a game between second and third in the Primera Liga. Beckham once again drops deep, but that one's wasted. It's only gone as far as Manuel Pablo. Scaloni. Manuel Pablo again. Dusha, will you think about the shot? Ball's gone into the area. Got it well though, Raul Bravo. Finds Figo with the clearance. Neat little header from Zidane. And Beckham helping things on. Zidane's carried on his run. Just didn't bounce right for him though, and I bet able to get the challenge in. Well, it's one of very, very few fouls, isn't it? Exactly, and poor old Javier Director rolling his sleeves up almost in frustration. <laughs> Just being a little bit over fussy here, I think, the referee. In fact, it wasn't even a foul. Decided uh, to throw throw it. He did seem to have given it, didn't he? That did look to be offside as yeah, Sergio just slipped the ball forward to Valeron. Well, he started playing some ice, but I wonder if he, he maybe wants a little bit more intensity, wants them to close off little spaces bit a little bit, both, both sides have left each other a lot of space to use the ball in midfield, and, and I wonder if Idueta is thinking, well, at the Bernabeu, you just can't afford to do that. Well, the Bernabeu are even in your own ground against these Real Madrid players. Here's Ronaldo, through to Raul. Now, I bet just got his body in the way. Just ease Raul across, didn't he? But a good pass there from Ronaldo. Wonder if that had been the other way around. Raul. Well, Ronaldo has the yeah has the has the body strength to hold people off, doesn't he? Well, lovely pass from Ronaldo. He's showing that he's more to him than just finishing. Well, I think when when you watch Ronaldo in training, he can do everything. And I think he's one of these guys who he plays up front, and he scores goals, and sometimes that disguises the fact that he can do everything. And that when he gets it, he's, he's a great great footballer as well. He's not just a goal scorer. I think Ronaldo's the kind of guy that if you force him to play at centre-back for a year, probably turn out to be a great, great centre-back as well. Just and he wouldn't enjoy it very much. No, I'm sure. Just lost uh, sight of the ball there from the through pass from Raul. Oh, goodness gracious. Do you see that control there from Zidane? He just... He is on graceful top form today. He's killed it dead, gave it to Raul, and here come Real Madrid with Roberto Carlos. Zinedine Zidane. Just caught from behind by Lionel Scaloni, who can't believe it. Let's have a look. Impressed, well, actually, there's a little, little clip, I think, on, on Zidane's ankle from Scaloni. Um, the, the upper body contact doesn't look very much at all, but I think, I think Scaloni may just have put Zidane's ankle with his, with his right foot. So the crowd still waiting to see David Beckham's first goal from a free kick in La Liga in the Bernabeu. But just five minutes to go in the first half. Can Beckham give the lead to Real Madrid? Crowd seem to think so. Molina working on the wall. Here comes Beckham. Well, he got it on target, but Molina got his angles right straight into the chest of the Deportivo keeper. Beckham maybe didn't quite hit that hard enough either. No, and he didn't get enough lift on it. And normally Beckham's free kicks get a lot more lift on that. They go, they go, tend to go in much higher than that. Looking to break the Deportivo, but Molina's kick to Scaloni just a little bit too far. A minute there. Throwing, just sort of thing as a goalkeeper. You don't like to see the ball coming towards you being chased down by an opposing striker. Here's the Beckham free kick again. Gets it over the wall, actually. But it just 
it's also a, for li it's a little too central as well, isn't it? And, and Molina's able to claim that fairly comfortably. Sergio looking to get things moving in his busy style for Depot, but manages to bisect his two teammates there, Luque and Tristan. Once again, Beckham. He does it almost by clockwork, those long passes. Zinedine Zidane now. Looking to cut inside. Zidane, Roberto Carlos, Andrade. A little more, more haste in that clearance from Depor. And again, Beckham. Andrade anticipating Raul. And Elguera catches Valeron, picks him up. Been a very sporting game. Yeah, it has. Even though when there have been fouls, there's been quick apologies. They've picked each other up because those two know each other well from their time together in the Spain squad. Wasted though by Deportivo. I'm sure Mr. Iroretta won't be very happy about that. And once again, David Beckham. Finds Ronaldo. Uses his body strength there, Ronaldo. And just by being strong ends the free kick. Well, he was up against the skinny one, so uh, he was always going to win that Ronaldo. You would have made him favourite, wouldn't you? Zidane, three players around him. And they've still worked space with Beckham. Figo try to work his way through. Goes down among a crowd of players. Nothing doing, says the referee. Now it's Depot's turn to break, and Beckham charging back. That ball collected by Ike Casillas. He keeps things moving. All of a sudden, we've found an extra gear in this game. Zinedine Zidane again with space. This is where Madrid are dangerous. It's attacking into the penalty area, Zidane, and that's just over the bar. Roberto Carlos Lovely made skill, the distance. Zidane, wasn't it? Lovely skill. Three or four step overs just to just to keep the defender on the back foot and then roll into the path of Roberto Carlos, who might have done a little better. Figo had great skill as well from Luis Figo. One, two. Yeah, I think I think Figo did really well on the first couple, but I do think he sometimes has a tendency Figo to drift inside when, when he might be better off staying a little bit wider and putting the ball across. Just run out of space a little bit, allow the depot defence to close him down. Pavon to Beckham. Van Elguera. Just looking for someone to drop short for him, but instead he's bringing the ball forward himself. Finds Zidane, little back heel from Zidane. Roberto Carlos. It's Figo again. That was a venomous shot. Look, didn't look at first as if it was going to cause any problems, but it seemed to pick up speed off the, off the ground. Yeah, and it came through a couple of players as well. Molina doing well to get down to his left to deny Luis Figo. In the last minute of normal time, it's still nil-nil, but both sides making chance oh, after chance. And here's another one, Zinedine Zidane. Across the area, Ronaldo! 1-0 to Madrid at exactly the right moment. Wow. I mean, Ronaldo scores, and, and, and he's, he finished it really nicely, but, but that's a nice gesture, and it's a correct gesture as well to go steaming over to Zidane, give him a hug, because that was a wonderful piece of skill from Zidane. I think when we get the chance to see it again, we'll see it's a, it's a long, long ball. It's dropping from very high. Zidane, the first touch is brilliant, but the ball sits slightly behind him. I think he may even play it back in front of himself with his ankle. And then, of course, to delivers a perfect pass. This first touch is superb, but what's the next one? That's well, his ankle. Flicks it uh, uh, oh. down, as he? Leaves Manuel Pablo standing and Ronaldo. He's usually lethal from four yards out. But look, I mean, that's a great touch. But then but that the one's brilliant, one, yeah. isn't it? Staggering work from Zinedine Zidane. He's certainly been on song today. And number 13, it's unlucky for some. 13 goals for Ronaldo, and it's unlucky for Depor tonight. And I was just about to say before that goal, but Madrid just starting to get on top. They were indeed, and that's a great time to score the first goal of the game. As Rodriguez Santiago gives the half-time whistle after 45 minutes. The score in the Bernabeu is Real Madrid 1, 
Deportivo La Coruña nil. Thanks to Ronaldo. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back soon. Hello and welcome back to the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium as we're just getting ready for the start of the second half of this week 16 game between Real Madrid and Deportivo La Coruña. Deportivo on the pitch, one goal down thanks to Ronaldo who put Madrid ahead on the stroke of half-time. Easy goal for Ronaldo. Most of the credit has to go to Zinedine Zidane. Yeah, absolutely perfect perfect assist from Zidane it's a long ball which he brought down with one absolutely astonishingly good touch it's almost caught the ball in his foot then it bounced fractionally behind him and yet he managed to produce this kind of flick he almost knocked it in front of himself with, with his ankle and then rolled the ball right into Ronaldo's pass great finish and Ronaldo um, thanked him for it by running over and jumping on top of him expect no less I'm sure uh, Madrid with this if things stay as they are they will go back to the top of the table Deportivo a third, but the Madrid would open up a six-point gap over them. It looks like it's going to be a substitution for Real Madrid. It's Luis Figo who's going off, and it's been replaced by Oscar Mignambres. Uh, Mignambres can play both at both at right back and and on the right wing. Although it's a it's a it's a slight surprise in so much as other options to play on the right wing: Antonio Nunez, Juan Fran, but Mignambres has got the nod. Figo must have picked up a slight knock in the first half. There is Miliambres, a product of the Real Madrid youth system. He has perhaps suffered in, in the most of his appearances, have been at right back. Yeah. This will give him a chance to show what he's capable of in attack. Referee Rodriguez Santiago looks at his watch and away we go with the second half. Some good football played by both sides in the first half, but Madrid, you look at the shot, the shot count, they actually had 10 chances to depot two. So the most incisive football was definitely played by the home side, and there is Mignambres getting a good early touch of the ball. Yeah, Deport, Deport just lacked a little bit of, of bite in there, and Madrid have, have, uh, have played really nice football, but they've eased their way into the game. They were, they were struggling maybe for the first 10, 15 minutes, Deport were, were slightly the better side, but the Madrid just eased their way in, played really nice football, created a lot of good chances, and they deserve to be one up. They just look that little bit more incisive yeah. in the last third of the pitch, thanks mainly to the quality of people like that man there, Zinedine Zidane, once again giving Manuel Pablo a torrid evening, the Deportivo right back. So again, Mignambres, that's a good ball. And Raul just couldn't quite control that, and Andrade had to scythe it clear, but good early touch there for Mignambres. Now they seem to be trying to trying to steal <laughs> steal my bet's captain arms back. Oh, also to help it retie it. So my bet and Raul just colliding, I think, as, as he made the challenge. Once again, Miniambres just couldn't control it that time though. Just ran away from him. Oh yeah, yeah just Raul just trod on his heel, didn't he? Accidentally, and then yeah. Raul twisted his own his own ankle. But they're both. Well, he's watching the ball, Raul. It's just unfortunate. And then offside. Given against Albert Luque. We've seen a lot of Luque. We haven't really seen enough of the Depo number nine, Diego Tristan. No, we haven't. And uh, I think I think Depo will look for his pass uh, quite a lot this half because Luque definitely has the pace to get in behind Madrid and, and cause them trouble, particularly if the Madrid defence is, is that far up as it was there. Um, it only takes a, a, a fairly simple pass, actually, just drop it in the space behind, and Lucas should get there first most times. He has got the pace. He is up against Mitchell Salgado, of course, who is one of the most tenacious full-backs you could expect to come across. David Beckham. 
two Madrid players out on the left and Roberto Carlos cool as you like controlling that one no handballs is the referee chance for Depor to break this Scaloni putting the early ball in but easy for Ike Casillas you know we say Depor played nice football Ike hasn't really been called on to no. do any more than pluck out the put the odd cross down well that's it I mean what they've done is they've moved the ball around they've stroked it about but they haven't really had they haven't really had that, that, that penetration, that incisiveness. They haven't created really good chance. I mean, it's uh, not, certainly not since the first 10 15 minutes. Yeah, Roberto Carlos trying something a little bit special, but the ball just, just running away from him a little bit. And, you know, Depor, I think, in terms of chances, they had that, that terrible miss from Valeron, which he put over the bar. And, of course, the goal that was chalked off for Luca, which probably shouldn't have been. Since then, Madrid are the, are the side that have had all the chances. And they also had a goal disallowed, which yeah. is probably a little bit harsh. The Ivan Elguera thunderbolt. Roberto Carlos is penalised there for knocking Valeron off the ball. As there is Pedro Benitez, a former Madrid player, warming up. Depot substitute. Valeron. Twisting and turning, and the referee giving the free kick just outside of the area. I'm sure Valeron would have liked, liked him to point it to the penalty spot, but I think Rodriguez Santiago just about got that one right when he does play Valeron it's very hard to get off the ball because he's got such great ball control close in but sometimes you just wonder if he should with the ability he has shouldn't he do a bit more yeah I think sometimes I mean that said he was the the fulcrum of, of the, the Deportivo side that, that won the cup but he's you're right there are times I just think he should have achieved a little bit more in his career Particularly, I must be said, actually, with the Spanish national team. He's always been questioned, really. As Luque driving that one against the wall. Corner for Deportivo. Ivan Alguera out quickly to block it. There's Walter Pandiani, big Uruguayan striker, also doing a few warm up exercises. Was different questions to Madrid defence Pandiani. He's yeah. very big, he's direct, he's good in the air. As it is, they've got to defend this one. And there was Beckham on the near post to clear the ball. Good work from Raul. Here comes Ronaldo. Scaloni got back, did well, but Ronaldo still going strong. <laughs> That's amazing that he's still being on the ball. And Beckham collecting the ball. Zidane, Raul looking for Ronaldo. Oh, what was just inches away there from the Brazilian he's kept it in though but he couldn't get past Andrade no fouls is the referee throwing for Real Madrid and then penalises Real Madrid for foul throw just limping slightly Ronaldo there if it's just, just from that exertion of chasing the ball into the corner. It's a good pass. A bit of space here for Depor. A bit of space for Capdevilla. Deportivo left back. Salgado and Miniambu is getting back well to help his, his full back out. And that's not a bad pass to Raul. Ronaldo, Manuel Pablo gets across well. Um, was that a good contribution so far from Minyan? Which is putting yeah, two or three good passes. So it's always good to see another product of the Madrid youth policy performing well. And he's got Spain under 21 international Oscar Minyambres. There's Zidane to Raul. Very active at the start of this second half, the Madrid captain. Is provoking the foul from Sergio. Speaking of Real Madrid youth products, Victor Sanchez won the league with Real Madrid under Fabio Capello. After that, didn't quite get the chances he wanted. Went to Rathing for a season. He's been now at Depor for for four years. Good player, right on the right. He's a consistent performer for Depor, isn't he? Kick for 
Deportivo, who are trailing 1-0 here in the Santiago Bernabéu, thanks to that Ronaldo goal on 44 minutes, right on the stroke of half-time. Now Beckham working very deep again. He's certainly not neglecting his defensive duties, the, the England captain. Had a very good season since joining Real Madrid in the summer. People thought he might struggle to adapt, but he's really shown that he's willing to get down, he's working hard, making things move in central midfield. And what he does is has that ability, doesn't he, just to drop deep, pick up the ball and hit it long. Oh, like that, for example. For example. Yeah, but the, the surprising thing about Beckham this year has been how quickly he's adapted. Scoring, yeah. The first goal of the season after two minutes probably helped. Yeah. Here's Luque looking to attack Salgado, who's forced into conceding a corner. Held in there, Roberto Carlos, producing another phenomenal jump, only succeeds in hitting it back. It's held in again. Once again, Raul Bravo up this time. Zinedine Zidane had a fantastic first half. Picks out Ronaldo. Here is Ronaldo, but Andrade this time was able to get the challenge in, and Ronaldo's on the floor. Deportivo very sportingly kicking the ball out when they had a good attack mounted. Yeah, they did have a good attack on it. I'm not sure if Ronaldo got got a knock or if he, if he pulled something. Every time Ronaldo sort of clutches his knee, there's always a shudder, isn't there? There's I think he might just his knee might just collide with Andrade there. Particularly turn, isn't it? Oh, there you go, you got Andrade swung and, and came through the bottom of Ronaldo's uh, leg, which may just have twisted his knee from the jolt. Yeah, he's limping off Ronaldo and there's Santiago Solari warming up. There's Dr. Juan Carlos Hernandez having a little word with Ronaldo, just seeing if he's fit to carry on. Back underway with 10 minutes in the second half. Real Madrid leading Deportivo 1 0 thanks to that Ronaldo goal. And there's Zidane returning possession to Depo. He doesn't look very happy, Ronaldo, there, does he? No, he looks very uncomfortable. Well, he's surrounded by Red Cross girls. Boucher. Tivo trying to get the ball into where it counts. Bravo. And there's David Beckham once again just stepping on the ball, opening it out to Roberto Carlos. Zinedine Zidane. The game still played at that quite sedate pace so far as Ronaldo comes back onto the pitch with just those little explosive moments on both sides. Yeah, it's a comfortable place for both teams, isn't it? But what it is doing is allowing them both to show their, their ball skills and Pavon just hurried back there to Ike Casillas. Bravo. And when Pablo gets up well. From Deportivo, Sergio may looking to make something happen. Little ball through the middle. To Manuel Pablo again, who's got a bit of space ahead of him. Good defending though. Minyambris once again just forcing Depo back. And the ball across the Madrid penalty area. Three defenders in there and Casillas and Diego Tristan not able to get a touch. Yeah, it was a dangerous ball, wasn't it? Delivered right into right into that area that forwards normally love to attack. Diego Tristan, his mentality isn't really of a striker who goes in with his head. He's, he's 
he's a talent player more than anything else, a player of touch and, oh, and, and class rather than a player of kind of... He's not actually managed a shot so far. And looking at the bench, it's Victor who's going to be coming on as a substitute for Deportivo. Um, be interesting to see who he takes off. What if he might take like, Manuel Pablo off and drop Scaloni back? He struggled Manuel Pablo to deal with Zidane tonight. Yeah, and then Scaloni would give him the, the overlapping ability from, from right back. And as I said earlier He's on... He's also, Manuel Pablo, the only player who's been booked so far. Yeah. Which would make perhaps sense. We'll see. All will be revealed. I would suspect next time the ball goes out for a throw-in. Oh, the referee gives a free kick. Ivan Elguera. It's fouled there. David Beckham, as usual, standing over the ball. Juriretta will probably wait while his team have some defending to do. Taking it quickly, Beckham. Oof. Oh, dear. Well, uncharacteristically poor control from Zidane on the first touch, and then he lifted his leg, as only Zidane can do because of such elasticity. Um, to try and bring the ball down, well, he hadn't realised it's Sergio put his face in there, and uh, that's got to hurt. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, well, last time I saw that, it was at the cinema, and um, I think the film was, it was Jackie Kung Chan, Fu, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Charlie Chan, yeah. <laughs> Jackie Chan. <laughs> Charlie Chan. Well, Zidane's smiling about it, and I think. I think Sergio knows that, that, that he's yeah, made yeah. it, but that will have hurt. And indeed it is Manuel Pablo, the player who has been substituted. Yeah, and as you say, it makes sense. Um, I mean, Scaloni has replaced Manuel Pablo through a lot of his injury problems recently, and he can push on beyond Victor, and then Victor will just give him that little thrust. Um, he's a more attacking player, Victor, is he more direct? Scaloni is more defensively minded, so yeah. it's a pretty... It is an attacking changed by Javier Ritter, the Deportivo coach. I think this Victor will be welcoming the another opportunity to play in what used to be his home crowd. Ball all the way across to Roberto Carlos. Ronaldo just gets there first, doesn't he? he doesn't think he, sometimes you just don't think he's going to get there, and then he does. Just has that extra yard of pace that surprises, I'm sure it surprises the defenders as well. It still doesn't look like he's moving all that well, though. Oof, that was a little bit too intricate there. The ball given away to Deportivo. And it's Luque with a chance to run. Well, I tell you, Tristan had just been able to step beyond Raul Bravo there. Not only was he through, but I think he had Victor on the right-hand side. That's what Luque gives. He gives that injection of pace. I think it was. Alguero was able to get in there at the right time, and there the ball deflected for a Deportivo corner. I think Tristan's complaining about the pass he got from Luque. I'm not really sure why. Victor take the corner. to him with there, Elguera up well. Beckham trying to play that out of defence. Given away. There he is, making up for his error. And what a pass to Zidane, oh. who just couldn't quite control that. We'll let him off this time. Yeah, we've seen two or three pieces of absolutely superb control. We'll let him off that. Although I'm not so sure that Sergio will let him off for that, that karate kick in the face. <laughs> Play on, says the referee, we've got just under half an hour to go. Real Madrid winning 1-0 at home to Deportivo. The goal scored just before the break on the stroke of half-time by Ronaldo. Miniambres, good control from Raul. Couldn't, just hassled out of things. Deportivo scurrying around, trying to clear the ball out of defence. Madrid pressuring high upfield, there was four players there. And in the end, David Beckham will get across to make the challenge. Well, I 
and that's when Tristan was having a go at Luke for the pass. And, and Luke was, was not too impressed with what Tristan did with it either. Well, that's one of the last things Diego Tristan has done because he's been replaced by Walter Pandiani. And to be honest, it's about the only thing Tristan's done. He's been very, very disappointed. Pandiani will be, will be hoping to make more of an impact. He, he's the sort of player. Here he is, Walter Pandiani, and... <laughs> Well, well, that's what you're going to say, it's quite an effective substitution. He's been on the pitch about 30 seconds, Walter Pandiani. He's levelled the scores. Well, wow, that's incredible, isn't it? But Tristan is probably kicking himself down the tunnel. Probably is. And Iker Casillas cannot believe it. I can't believe it, to be honest. I mean, and Pandiani certainly can't believe it. He's been on the pitch, as you say, all of 20 seconds. Ball slipped right through the middle for him. It's a neat finish. I think the thing is, he's just come on off the bench. If, 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 if Tristan had been there, he'd have had somebody marking him straight away, and there's some pretty unhappy faces there amongst the Madrid players. Ball's through the middle, Pandiani, two steps. It's a very good finish, because Casillas had come a long way out to narrow the angle. It's also a very, very good pass from Sergio for the gap. Good finish. Just puts it where the keeper can't get to it. I think what the possible problem might have been is, had Tristan been there, he'd have been in the position. Pandiani had just come on, he's running into the position. No defender had really picked him up since he came and on and the pitch. Him, and between them, the, the Madrid defence hadn't yet, presumably hadn't yet decided. Right, OK, let's see where he moves, we'll pick him up. Because obviously... Pandiani is slightly, is slightly, whereas maybe Bravo would have been the one you'd have, would have been to pick up Tristan because he's quicker. Maybe you'd want Pavon to do a marking job on Pandiani because because Pandiani does... Well, it was, it was Pavon's shoulder that Pandiani came off as he, as he went for that. Fantastic pass from Sergio. Certainly was just right through the defence. So now Deportivo all of a sudden in the ascendancy. I, can't I think, for that, so. I think so. And the referee tells him to get up. He could even have thought about showing him a yellow card for the dive. Zidane collides into Scaloni. Maybe a little bit fortunate Scaloni not to concede a free kick there. But all of a sudden Depo in the ascendancy. Is Victor looking up? Important header there. It was because Pandiani was in behind. Victor Sanchez, who's a former Real Madrid youth team player and played a couple of seasons with the first team. Ruth Beckham just dwelling on that a little bit. So Madrid, all of a sudden, they've got to pick themselves up and get back into this game because it is one all following Walter Pandiani's second goal. No, no more after coming onto the pitch. Yeah, seconds, seconds he'd been on the pitch and, and this is what he did, his first touch. Play the now as the rifle. Nice corner from Beckham caused all sorts of confusion in the depot penalty area and it's finally scrambled free. 25 minutes left for Real Madrid. It's quite unusual in a way, in that that goal, the score has changed, but the complexion of the game actually hasn't yet. Both sides are still playing the way they've been playing all game, which is to say, nice football, keep the ball smooth, keep it moving. Cracking pass from Sergio, and it's a good finish on Pandiani. He's a player, we think of him as being strong in the air, but he slipped that one home really very, very well indeed. The one thing that may change, I mean, it hasn't just yet, but the may change is that, is that Depo may be a little bit more direct with not just with Pandiani, but with Pandiani and Victor, just gives them a little bit more, if you like, thrust, a little bit more aggression. It gives you that temptation as well, just to send in a few more longer passes, which would certainly break up the game because it's not been like that. Ooh, Ronaldo, here's Ronaldo through. Ronaldo hit that hard at Molina. He so hard, Molina couldn't hold on to it, but he got down for the rebound. Great pass, although... Although uh, I think it was Andrade on Ronaldo made, made a mess, I know it's high bet made a mess in the first pass. Ronaldo's physical presence putting him off there, and Andrade did very well getting across, just hurrying Ronaldo in the shot. There's not many central defenders can do that. No, but Ronaldo, I mean, Ronaldo's still got good, clean contact. It's one of the things about Ronaldo, actually, even when he misses chances, he tends, tends to, to miss them because they've been saved. Yeah, he, he tends to get hard. the ball on target. Yeah, he hits the ball very flat. It's, it's, very, it's rare that he puts much penalty. He's a ball very flat and very cleanly. And uh, Pandiani didn't waste much time scoring. Oh, and he didn't waste, waste very much time getting a card either. Second player into the referee's book, uh, Walter Pandiani. First one being Manuel Pablo, who's already been substituted. Oops. 
Dawson has dropped his piss pipe. Right, he's carrying on talking, Pandy, and he'd probably be quite well advised just to um, well, just to keep his thoughts <laughs> to himself. I'm not quite sure what the referee's... I, I think the referee's pointing at it. He may even be pointing at it saying, take his shirt here. Oh, he certainly seemed to be pointing at his shirt and his waistband, didn't he? Very strange. I'd like to think he hadn't been booked for not having his shirt on. I him. would hope not, I really would. But if that is it, it's, it's a very um, <laughs> half-hearted attempt. Maybe the referee will now get out half a yellow card for him. Running half time. Yeah, but I mean, you know, in a physical game, to see people... I mean, if that is why, to see somebody get a booking for that, it's ludicrous. That said, it wouldn't be the first time I saw a ludicrous this year. 23 minutes gone in the second half, it's Real Madrid 1, Deportivo, La Coruña 1 with Walter Pandiani cancelling out Ronaldo's strike just a few minutes ago. Only just come on and Pandiani is already, um, he's already given the statisticians a couple of pieces of work, he scored the goal and he's been booked on 67 minutes. It's Capdevila looking to cross the ball, just hanging in the air. And that's not gone out for a goal kick. Yeah, and Pandiani applauds it because it's not a bad delivery, that. Just a little bit more bent to keep it in the area that little bit longer. And I tell you, Pandiani had, had drifted away. I think it was uh, Pavon off Pavon's shoulder. He found himself a little bit of space in that far post. There's Deportivo captain, club captain, Fran Gonzalez warming up on the touchline. He would come on probably on the left-hand side of midfield. Spent his entire career with Deportivo, Fran. Beckham. Space for him to work across into the area. It's a little bit of a nothing ball though, but Zidane is chasing it down. It's fall to Roberto Carlos. It's collided there, Roberto Carlos. The referee decides to play on, and. Well, Roberto Carlos isn't really. <laughs> he's knocked the wind out of Scaloni. It says collided. Let's have a look at that one again. Well, it just goes across him diagonally. Um, think there's any chance of a penalty there? I don't think so. I was wondering more actually about the first challenge, but on the replay, I think the first challenge is, is a clean one as well. I think it's really just Roberto Carlos's momentum and the fact that Scaloni's coming across. I don't, I don't think there's a foul. I mean, you know, this is it's it, it's a sign of how difficult he's been a referee. When we see a replay, and you we say, say well, we don't think there's a foul there. It's, it is tough. I wouldn't do it. Not for all the tea in China. That's a lot of tea. Too. That's here. Aguera getting himself into trouble there and conceding the free kick. Pavon had cleared the original challenge referee, trying to give the advantage. Dangerous free kick for Deportivo. Just caught loitering a little bit there, the Madrid defence. Let's have a look. Elguera pressured by Victor, and yeah, I think that's a foul. And as you say, the referee, Gurria Santiago, tried to allow Pandiani the chance to get in, to allow the, allow the advantage, and then pulled it back when, uh, when Pandiani was cut off. Well, there's a few candidates there's, there, there's there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a Deportivo conference around the ball there. Well, I mean, Luque can hit, hit the ball really nicely. Cap de Vila hits the ball very nicely. And Victor's Victor there as can well. Hit I've seen, seen him take three. And also Dusha can hit the ball. It's probably about, what, 25 yards out. There's Victor. I think it's Dusha standing in front. But it does look like... Yeah, it's Dusha standing in front. It does look like it's going to be Victor who takes it, doesn't it? We're trying to get the wall back. The wall was a little bit close there, and Victor just curling it wide of the goal. Is it very far wide, though? I mean, Casillas was a long, long way to the other side, so had it been in some I don't think he'd have reached it. Not that far wide it's at all, is it? Just curling far. away, though. Yeah. I think what you do as a goalkeeper, though, in that position, you put your wall over the post. Basically, if it goes over the wall at any speed, there's nothing you can do about it. Chop one up to the striker. As it is, Victor just curled out a little bit too much. Real Madrid live again. It's 27 minutes gone, it's one all. Looking to open up, oh, lovely. to go top of the table, Real Madrid against Deportivo La Coruña, who are third. 
Great control again by Zidane. His, his touch tonight has been absolutely sensational. And his battling ability has won that one for Beckham. Back with Zidane, Zinedine Zidane. Ronaldo just looking for that extra pass there, Madrid. But they're still keeping the pressure on, showing they can work as well as produce those passes. And the referee. Totally off the ball, wasn't it? I think it was accidental, but it was totally off the ball. It was Aldo Dusha. Uh, I think it was El who caught it. Think about Elgaris, he looks permanently exhausted and yet he keeps on going. Yeah. I just think it's, 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 it's his natural style, if you like. He ha does have a kind of that sort of bandy legged swagger and, and his shoulders are always slightly hunched forward. Let's have a look at this again. It's entirely off the ball, I don't think it's any intention. No, it's no, he tight. seems to pull up, just, just seems to slip a tiny bit actually and catch Ducho. And there's, we just had a glimpse of Javier Portillo warming up on the Real Madrid bench. I wonder if that is a question that maybe Ronaldo isn't as fit as, as he could be. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he did seem to be struggling even a good five or ten minutes after that, after he'd been off the pitch receiving two. There's Raul looking for Ronaldo, trying to break the offside trap. Ronaldo, he did, but he just had to go back that little bit too far. He's still pressing, though. To be honest, Raul probably should have played Ronaldo in sooner. I wonder, wonder if Ronaldo was just a little bit offside to earlier on. And there Casillas alert out of his area quickly. The ball is back with Luque. Dwelt on it too long and Mignambre is nipped in ahead of him. Starting the break for Madrid. Once again looking for the counters. Zidane to Roberto Carlos. Ronaldo. Zinedine Zidane, Zinedine Zidane, Molina! Brilliant move there from Real Madrid, just slick passing, tore open the Deportivo defence and there, Jose Molina, seven saves tonight. Well, and time and time again it's Zidane as well. Madrid have actually created very, very little on the right, but Zidane has been, has been magnificent tonight. Tries a little dummy there on Molina, Zidane just steps over with his right foot and hits it with his left. He's had a great game tonight. Once again, Ronaldo, the interchange between the two of them has been really, Once really again, good. Ronaldo showing that he can he can do those passes. Yeah, well, he can provide as well as score. Valeron. And a free kick for his side. Quarter of an hour to go, Walter Pandiani. And Luque taking up their positions in the Madrid penalty area. The ball curled in. Well, Luque got up, but he couldn't get any header on the ball. That no, was a decent leap, as you say. There was just not not enough power on the header. Still thinking about Casillas. I can't think of any. There was nothing he could do with the with the goal, but I can't think of any saves he's actually had to make. It's rare, isn't it? It's rare that that, that Casillas goes through a whole game without making at least one excellent save. Oh, he's looked very secure. Here's Raul, he's got Mignambres outside him. Oof, and that nearly surprised Molina, who was forced into conceding the corner. The thing is, he's not, he's just not been forced into them. It just, you know, we're saying Depor playing well, but they've not actually created no. that many chances. No, what they've done is they've moved the ball around well, but without having, having that, that extra punch. Beckham with the corner. Just a little bit too easy for the defence there on the near post. And then a the product of that is the one chance they have created was such a good chance that, they that took he it. had no, ch no, no hope of saving it. Intelligent play from Beckham, waits for Mitchell Salgado on the overlap, but Salgado just ran out of pitch there and sends his cross into the side netting. Yeah, Salgado bore the ball under control and then almost sort of took a step back and just let it run away from him a little bit, which meant that he was hurried and the cross was a very poor one by, by Salgado's normally very high standards. Serious look from Ike Casillas. He always tends to look incredibly serious after he's conceded a goal, Casillas. Oh, he doesn't enjoy it, does he? Which he shouldn't do, but I've never seen a goalkeeper with effect more. No. In terms of, in terms of sort of how inner... Could that, how could that happen? Yeah, exactly. In terms of inner unhappiness. I mean, you get goalkeepers who shout at their defence, you get goalkeepers who, who curse and scream and shout. But you see, Ike, he has a little tut, he shakes his head. He exactly. He, he, he just he sort of stands there as if to say, how could that happen? I don't know. How could he beat him? And let's be honest, there are not many people who do beat Ike Casillas. Who 
was getting better and better. A little bit careless there from Madrid, though. They're allowing Depo to break, and that's not a long way ahead of Luque. No, the idea was right. Again, it's Serkiel. He's the one who sees those angles best. Luque has the pace that, that is worth Serkiel bordering on, on, on the difficult to keep it well away from the defence because Luque normally has the pace to get there. And we saw again Pedro Minitas on the bench. Indeed. Just over 12 minutes for Real Madrid. Or Depot to find the winner in this game. Here's Zidane, Roberto Carlos making good ground on the overlap, but not even Roberto Carlos can get onto that pass from Zidane. Just running away from the Madrid fullback. And Carlos Quiroz just starting to look a little bit. He actually hasn't looked happy all game, really. No, but the difference dark now is shadows it's under those eyes there. Starting in. to look more nervous, isn't it? I wonder if he'll be thinking about making another substitution. He has got Portillo on the bench, the young striker from the Madrid youth policy. Raúl lofting it over the top side against Ronaldo. Yeah, if he was to call on Portillo, I guess uh, the most likely candidate would be Raúl rather than Ronaldo because Ronaldo looks dangerous. Except that we don't know how fit Ronaldo is because. He didn't seem to be moving that well. The other option... So I to, to make him take a risk and maybe put, take off Elguero or Bex? Yeah. Or even one of the central defenders. But the way Depor are playing, I think that you'd want to keep your defence intact. The other person you can call upon who tends to contribute when he comes on is Santiago Solari. Casillas, well, we said he hadn't been called on. He has now. There he was. Valeron, the thin man. Weaves away, gets the shot in. David Beckham to Zidane just dwelt on that allowing Vic to get, to get the challenge in and it rolls back to Molina whatever the final score is Zidane has had a great night oh, tonight it's, it's just time and time again he goes into the pitch and just the elegance and it's just it's just a joy to watch him play he's had two or three little pirouettes he's set up the goal and he's been constant threat for Depot. It's amazing, actually, that Depor haven't done more to try and pick him up, but they've allowed him to to waltz around the pitch, and he really does waltz around the pitch, particularly with the ball, and, and pick the ball up, have a time and a space to do, well, to do what he does best. There's Raul working very, very deep. Finds Zidane. Roberto Carlos bursting through. Can he get into the area? Oof. Well, no lack of commitment there from Roberto Carlos as Andrade just got ahead of him and we go into the last 10 minutes of normal time. Still one all in the Bernabeu, goals from Ronaldo and Walter Pandiani. Salgado now, a little bit of space for Miniambris. Looks up, not a bad cross and Andrade got up well. Depo need to clear this one. Once again, Miniambris getting a good foot in. Nice, nice turn, turn, nice well. turn. Zidane, he's got a little bit too much on that one, not quite a lot too much, and here is Pedro Munitis for Depor. Well, Madrid will be hoping for something rather different than the last time they faced Pedro Munitis. He only actually officially left Madrid this summer to go to Deportivo, Luque. but last year he was on loan at Rafting Santander, scored the only goal when Madrid were beaten 1-0 in Santander. Looks like Luque is the player to go off. Um, I think he, he must be looking at. He, he was he, asking it was him for the that change. gestured, wasn't it? it was yeah, he's asking for the change, so... As Depor prepared to take this change, it is indeed Luque who goes off. And there it is, Pedro Munites. Pedro Munites, who will of course be looking for the chance to shine in front of who were his own fans until not long ago. Yeah, and Real Madrid's fans will be hoping that, that he doesn't do what he did last year when he was playing on loan for Rathing Santander and scored the only goal in the game. So there is really Munites. Well. And Madrid, well, they'll have to be careful of him, but they, they know what they're up against. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But what Depo will be looking for, what their coach Javier Rureta will be want, will be for Monitis to hold that ball up, take on the defence, try and win some free kicks. Here at Depo, early touch for Monitis. Cap de Villa. He's taking on Salgado. And that's gone. Corner for Depor. Oh. 
time ticking away here in the Bernabeu. It's curling. Good clearance, though. Yeah, it's Roberto Carlos again. He's not the tallest player, but he does climb really, really well. Here comes Monitis, getting whistled by the fans. Depot keeping possession. Bravo. And between him, Bravo and Zidane keep out Monitis. Here's Bravo. Looks up. Good work there. Salgado. Little flick there from Beckham. Appeals for a high foot, but it was probably more of a low head. Here comes Raul. Ball with Zinedine Zidane. Dangerous there, Zidane. So is Beckham here. Can he work a shooting chance? Gives it back to Zidane. Looks up, Zidane. Chips the ball across. That was Mignambris getting up there, but the ball into the arms of Jose Molina. Uh, Molina sends it long. Just seven minutes. I think Real Madrid need to need to do what they've done up till now to some extent. I think they need to keep playing. The chances should come. They've had a lot of chances. They they need to inject a little bit more pace, but they don't need to panic. There's players like Roberto Carlos who found space. Zidane's opened up spaces. Like that, for example, there is Roberto Carlos thinking about taking on Scaloni. Using his strength again, Roberto Carlos' speed. Maybe gives Scaloni a little bit of a nudge, but they've basically swapped, let's be honest, they've swapped nudges and they've swapped kicks all second half. Yeah, and Scaloni, Scaloni is, is a wily player. He's, he's quick and he's strong, but he, he reads people's runs very well. He doesn't read the game that well in terms of passing, but he reads other people's runs well. Here's Zidane just trying to poke that ball through to Molina. Now Bravo popping up in attack there. Space for Beckham. Looking for one of those defence splitting passes. There it is. Once again, Roberto Carlos peeling away, finding the space, controlling it. Zidane looking to get into the box. Clever back heel. Roberto Carlos crossing it. And there is Raul to score the second of the night for Real Madrid. And that is a marvellous goal. Not just the finish, but the whole move. Yeah, really, really nice move. Real stole in. Just nudged the ball into the corner. I was saying not long ago that I thought if there was a substitution, perhaps it would be Raul because he hasn't looked as dangerous as Ronaldo. But you can't take your eyes off him for a minute. But the whole move was magnificent. Yeah. Beckham's long pass to Roberto Carlos, the pass to Zidane, the back heel then from Zidane, and then Roberto Carlos's measured cross. Yeah, a surprising cross actually from Roberto Ui, Carlos. It goes over Nybet. He thought about sticking an arm out there, Nybet, and Raul. Just gets in there. Look how he makes the run across the area there and loses his marker completely. Well, I, think, I think what happens, have a look at this again. Ronaldo goes to the near post and he takes both centre backs with him. He has Nybet on one side, Andrade on the other. The ball drops over both of them. Does Raul enjoy that? And of course, arriving from deep, Raul finds that extra bit of space. Yeah, absolutely. So, we said Madrid had the quality to score the second goal, and there, a move of real class. Beckham. Zidane, Roberto Carlos and Raul all involved and a magnificent goal for Real Madrid and the result is three and a half minutes of normal time left. Real Madrid lead 2-1 again. I think one of the things that makes that, that, that so, so impressive is as well that we see Roberto Carlos getting to those positions so often. Now Roberto Carlos' normal reaction in those positions is, is to put his head down and fire the ball across the box hard and low. And yet that cross was so deliberately measured, high, curling, softly delivered. Look, Look how deliberate that is. It's a great cross. That's Sees the run from Raul, and Raul on his right foot just volleys that past Molina. He just guides it in, doesn't he? He doesn't hit it hard, Raul. He just, he just brings this thing out of it, just guides it into the corner. Ronaldo just provoking a booking for Andrade there, the third of the night. Andrade joining teammates Pandiani and Manuel Pablo in the referee's book. And here, David Beckham with a chance. He's already forced one save out of Molina with a free kick. 
Can he do better this time and put it into the back of the net? David Beckham just clips the top of the wall. It's still not cleared, though. Ronaldo got it to um, Salgado's Salgado. way, yeah. Salgado doesn't score that many goals. I think that's why he's so annoyed. It's good thinking by Raul there, just earning the throw in for Madrid on the far side. I think if Madrid do finally get the victory, although it's taken them longer than they'd have liked, I think it's deserved. They've had the better chances, haven't they? Both teams have played nice football, but Madrid have carved out the better chances. Now, Ronaldo worked hard all night. It's been a constant threat. He's off replaced by Solari. Yeah, Santiago Solari. Real Madrid's classic number 12, isn't he? Always does a job. Whenever he's called upon, always does a job. Whatever position he's in, I think he's a really good professional. They'll probably just ask Solari just to fill in on the left, and Zidane will pull into a more central role, I suppose. I so, yeah. But there's only... Minute and, and a half and to Solari go. Solari is chanting Ronaldo's name. Well, the fans are chanting Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Solari's joining in. Well, Ronaldo, who put his side ahead, of course, on the stroke of half time. And Depo, they must have thought they were going to get something from this visit to the Bernabeu. Still not. Salgado turning. Minyambris, little boy. I've been quite impressed by Minyambris today. Yeah, he's played well, hasn't he? Showed some neat touches. And of course, if he can play at fullback as well, you know, that's a added bonus. Yeah, it's a good side for Ronaldo, isn't it? That's a little mate. There, Beckham. Oui. Well, Beckham's, Beckham's been a little silly. Oh. Oui, Scaloni and Beckham, a little bit of a wrestling match there. It's a little silly. Scaloni's going absolutely crazy at Beckham. Pandiani and Roberto Carlos getting involved. Yeah, the weird thing is I think Pandiani and Roberto Carlos are getting involved with each other to tell each other not to get involved. And actually both of them, I think, went in as peacemakers. Referee calling Beckham and Scaloni together. Let's see what he decides to do here. It's certainly a little bit of a tussle between the two. Beckham's having a little shake of his head. Raul interceding for Beckham as he can. Scaloni, I think, refused to shake Beckham's hand now. Oh, was that a little gesture there from Beckham and Scaloni? I think it was. Oh, I think it was. And Scaloni is. I don't know if that's the uh, that's the old outside sunshine. <laughs> um, but see, Scaloni obstructs Beckham there, and then Beckham just has a little go at him from behind, and then it all gets a little bit untidy. Roberto, Roberto Carlos, Carlos got him very quick to try and break it up, but actually it ended up not helping very much. I think Scaloni, you know, I mean, he's certainly dedicating a few choice words to David Beckham there. I think he's a little bit fortunate to stay on there. You know, he, the referee's decided it's two yellows, but Scaloni does, does lose it, doesn't he? And they're marking each other now, this could be entertaining. Ike Casillas gets up very well. That's a good claim. While we're, talk you, while we're it talking was up against Pedro Militis, who's not the tallest guy. While we're league. talking about the tension on the field, we shouldn't remember, we shouldn't forget that there's still two minutes of this game to go. Madrid are winning 2-1, and perhaps the most important thing is the final score. But what God that has done is just added a little bit of extra bite to these last two minutes of injury time. Well, in that sense, that's why Beckham would have been better uh, not getting drawn into that, because it would be, you know, it's, it's in Madrid's interest to take the sting out of the game now. It's this Deportivo can pump that ball into the penalty area. Just floated in. Gary got it very well. It's given away though. He's trying to get it through the middle. Goodness, that wasn't far away from getting to Nybet. Zidane, however, intelligently keeping possession for Madrid, allowing the clock to tick away as they take the throw in. And here's Raul, intelligent one from the Madrid captain. Raul Gonzalez into the area, pulls it across. Minyambris, can he? Oh, Molina <laughs> made one great save and one where he just stuck out his hand. It was a fantastic save, wasn't it? Well, Os Os probably should have scored, but it was a fantastic could save. Could have killed the game stone dead there, Oscar Minyambris. Great play from Raul. It's not the first time that Real Madrid have used that clever throw down the left wing to Raul. 
fact, he seemed to remember them doing it in the European Cup final. No offsides, of course, on a throw in as teams sometimes forget, I think. Well, I think that's it. It's, it's, it's not so much that they forget as that they set up not to defend the throw in directly. And of course, you've got to. They overlook it. It's an overlook rather than a forget. Now Beckham having a few words now with the linesman. Gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, he needs to keep his cool, Beckham. And referees whistling frantically. Scaloni also needs to keep his cool. I think the two of them are rather wound up. Fourth line, fourth official seem to be in a... <laughs> seems to be slightly reluctant to give Scaloni the ball there. As it is, the ball's chipped forward now. Some defending to do still. Beckham gets a foot in. Challenging away. Concedes the free kick. And he's treading a bit of a thin line, David Beckham here. No real need to give the ball away there. He's just allowing Depot one last chance. But well over the three minutes of stipulated injury time, but the referee yeah, has had to stop the clock, team, hasn't yeah. he? This will be the last attack of the game, though, and there the ball goes over everybody and out for a goal kick. <laughs> Pavon and Roberto draw, Carlos. The fans realise that, that that should be the end as well. Give each other the high five, and the referee blows the final whistle. Lionel Scaloni and Beckham having a few more words. Beckham quite cleverly keeping his hands behind his back there. There's his mate Aldo Dusha. End of the game in the Bernabeu. Tense finish, but the final score. Real Madrid 2. Goals from Ronaldo and Raul. Deportivo La Coruña 1. That was Walter Pandiani. Madrid are back on top of the table. Three more points in the Bernabeu. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon.